Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is going to be a kind of carry on episode from Trading Pure Profits. A lot of you have been asking me about the. Basically, I picked up a Fellini in 442, I think it was, and um, I did say that there's quite a good little tip to use use Premier League, like decent, shiny players, um, high rated players, I should say, and pick them in good formations, and it's going to be really easy to trade with. I'm going to do a little bit of a add on to that this is kind of an add on video to that I'm just going to show you what I mean by that basically it's no secret I mean a lot of people have probably already done this method but a lot of you have asked me to do it so I thought I'd do an extra video on it while we're here so Fellaini we're going to use in this one he is Belgian I've picked 4-4-2 four, four, because it's quite a popular formation for Premier League teams that 4-1-2-1-2 and 4-3-3 three, three are probably the main ones now we're going to do say I don't know what his buy now price is I'm going to put it to like 5k see if there's any for that something along those lines Nope. So we keep pushing up until we get one. Look for the cheapest one. So it's about 5.6, which is the cheapest one, which isn't too bad. So then what you basically do is you just memorize that. So nice to put it in your watch list if you're working with it. So 5,600. So if we can pick a Fellaini up for, say, anything less than about 5K, even like 5.2K, you're going to make a profit. So if we just put this maximum price up to 5.2, remember this is in center mid 442. So then you can see these ones here. Someone's obviously already clocked onto it a little bit. They've already bid at around 5.2 for each one. But it's a really good tip. I mean, there's one for 4K there, and that's in CDM. Look, don't don't miss don't miss that because the CDM to send a mid card probably costs around 1K. So that's lucky I didn't bid on that one there. But as you can see, that one's actually on 5.5K, just 5K even. So I put a 5.1K on that one. As I said, it looks like somebody's already picked up on this little method. But we could easily um, pick another player. Let me just think of somebody a minute. Let's get all this down. For you, somebody like somebody like Edin Zeko, possibly not. You know, I haven't got a lot of coins at the moment. You could you could be looking at like Suarez's, Torres's. It all works the same for all of them. He's Bosnia and Hetrogrovan or whatever. He plays for Man City, not Man United. And I don't know what he goes for in four four two. Probably about two k something like that. No, he doesn't. Christ. Right. Okay. That's actually quite surprising. He goes for 3k, there's actually quite a few of them on for 3k. So what you basically do then, again, same as Fellaini, he says again, this is in 4-4-2. You can change the formation to, it's pretty much any one, so they're all 3k. So if we do maximum price, say 2.5k, 2.6k, you're still going to make a little profit. So if I, you know, cheeky put in a 2.2k bid on that one there, um, there's one there, if I instantly up that, I know it's like got 30 minutes. So sometimes you have to wait for these, that's fair enough. Just keep putting in prices, it's not exactly price locking. Let's just see if I got that as echo a minute for 2.2. Still got a couple of seconds left, 30 seconds. But yeah, you basically just keep on doing like that. I'll, I'll find out a bit on one of the Zekos. But that doesn't matter. If you get out bid, you know that you probably wouldn't have made a lot more anyway. So it's not really worth bidding again unless you want to. There's other ones. I mean, there's people like uh, Mikel Arteta, who's another option. Let's quickly see what he's going for in centre mid, 4-4-2. I always use 4-4-2 because I know that's a really popular formation for um, Premier League players. I'd have no idea what Arteta goes for. Not even a clue what his original goes for. So I'm just going to search through here a minute. 4,500 being the cheapest one in 442. Again, it's really easy to make coins, guys. It's not, as I say, it's not a secret. The best time to be doing this is probably midnight, something like that. I've actually completely forgotten what the hell he was going for. Was it 4.2? I'm going to have to check again. That's my bad. I've got a terrible memory. And obviously I can't just look back in the video. 4.5, that was right, wasn't it? Shit. Right, so 4.5 is the cheapest. Apologies for going back and doing that. So basically, we're going to filter out. So if it's 4.5, see if we can get anyone, you know, around 4K or something like that in 4.4.2 is fantastic. I mean, if it's one's cheaper on the market, you aren't in 4.4.2, that's a different story because obviously converting him into 4.4.2 is going to cost you more than picking one up in 4.4.2. So if I pick one up, there's one here, look, not bad. If I up that, so say like 3.9k. If I get him for that, that's pretty good. There's another one there, so I'll pay him to 3.9k. 3.9k seems to be quite a nice price. We'll do one more there. So you don't want to be buying loads and loads because it then kind of gets involved in price locking, and that's a, that's quite annoying. But let's think of one extra player. Let's have a look quick down the list. Um, Newcastle. Actually, this is quite a difficult one because they're both Senegalese strikers, but we'll give it a go anyway. So it's Senegal, 4-4-2. Obviously, Demba Bar and Papa Cissé are both Senegal strikers, Newcastle. 
So we'll give it a go, see what we can get here. See who the cheapest one is. So Papis Cisse looks to be the cheapest one, and he is around 2.9k to 3k, something like that on a good day. So if we can pick a Papis Cisse up for around 2.5k, something like that, you're gonna make you're not making massive profits, and that's not what this is. This is just to make the easy little profits. You make a lot of easy little profits that mounts up into big coins. There's one there, look, 2,500. We'll bid on that one. We'll bid on another one there. I don't actually have enough for another one. I mean, there's a Denver bar there. That's probably a really good deal. I don't know what he goes for. But, yeah, I'm going to put a K bid in for Denver bar anyway. I know it's got 20 minutes left. We'll go in the trade pass if we actually got any of these now. So, that's a really, really good tip, guys. If For people who are new to trading, obviously, if you're a trading genius, this isn't really going to be good for you. We haven't actually picked anyone up just yet, but obviously there's a lot of bids still in place. So it's looking pretty good, actually. A couple of them don't look like we're going to get our bid on CSA. We might do last second, which is so annoying. But what can you do? But as you can see, they've all got bids in. I can make profit on every single one of them if I get them for that price. If I bid anything over, I know I probably wouldn't have made an, you know, a, a decent profit. So it's not going to bother me too much. I can do this all day long. It can get you a lot of coins. Obviously, I can't bid anymore now because I'm down to 750 coins, which isn't exactly nice. But I've got a lot of beast teams, so... I think we might actually get this. He saved 2,500. Let's just check. Yes, we will. So we will, if we can get him. Here we go. We'll instantly list him up for 3,000 by now, and that is, you know, it's like a 400 coin profit, something like that. But it's, you know, on one player, it's not great, but on a lot of players over time, you you make like off 10 players, you make like 4,000 coins. It's it's not. It's it's pretty decent doing it and obviously the better you get the more expensive players you get the more profit you make obviously i couldn't show you that in this video because i haven't got enough coins to do that but hopefully this has given you a little bit of an insider on how to trade with the premier league's information again it also works in other leagues you can try in bbva uh 433 is probably one of the best formations in that league german league you know 442 again in that one 412 stuff like that seem to work in them leagues so hopefully you've enjoyed this video please leave a like if you have and also remember to comment and subscribe and i'll hopefully be back with some more of these soon also be sure to check out trading pure profits that is this little add-on video from that where we're trying to make some coinage so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time so bye